Hey guys, Marlo back again with another unboxing and review. This time I have the Spawn Kickstarter 3-pack set here in hand. Took a while to finally get it, but uh, nice to have it in hand here. This is the shipper box with all of the info for you guys who are curious. You can see this 3-pack weighs about 10 pounds, or I guess overall 15 pounds with the boxer everything. So anyways, that's that info. Um, I did order the set of two, uh, three packs, so you can imagine how big that overall box was. Uh, I got an extra set for me and a buddy, so this is my set. So I'm guessing they should be exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. And, uh, see how everything's packaged inside. For those that missed the Kickstarter, it did uh, cost about 160 for the set of three uh, Spawn figures. Um, looks like there's another box within this box, so wow, they were very careful about shipping. Let me go ahead and get this box out of here and we'll try to get moving on the uh, unboxing. So again, it was about 160 for the set plus an additional 20 bucks or so for shipping. And I guess I was a little bit wrong about the contents. There wasn't another uh, sh single shipper box per se, but there were three individuals. So you can see here, the first one here, uh, looks like uh, it's the autographed uh, figure, followed by, what does it say here? I guess the Trio Modern, and what is this one? Trio, I'm not sure, I can't remember what that would be. But anyways, let's keep on moving and uh, get everything out of these boxes. So again, these three were in the larger shipper box there. And upon cutting the tape, we'll start off with the autographed figure here. You can see how they come packaged quite nicely with some tissue wrap in there. So again, I'm just filming this with my one hand, so I'm gonna have to, uh, again, make a cut and get everything out of there. And it's basically gonna be the same with the other one, so I'll probably skip ahead for you guys. And all I'll right, so I got all three boxes out of their little shipper boxes there. And it just occurred to me what the AP stood for on that one, and now I recall it's for uh, artist proof. So we do have the um, autographed version here of the original Spawn, plus the, uh, I guess it would be the modern Spawn. And the last one here would be like a black and white, uh, sort of a uh, unpainted artist proof type figure there. So I guess, you know, you can tell by the gray. This one has the green logos, red. And uh, I don't know if this is important, but I noticed don't know if it's going to come through with the uh, camera here, but there is some kind of numbering here, and I noticed that they all seemed to be identical to each other. So I don't know if they're all that way in the series, if they all have the same number, or if you are getting a set of three, the three would be matching and all the other ones would have different numbers, you know, but matching within the three. Uh, so, again, don't know too much about that, but thought I'd share. Sorry about the focusing, but hopefully, you know, all that's coming through. But moving on to the box itself, we'll start off with the regular spawn here. You can see it has a nice outer sleeve. Glossy Spawn logo there, nothing on the back side, and on the other side it says 1994 to 2021, I guess from the time McFarland Toys went into production, so let's go ahead and remove that outer cardboard sleeve to reveal, it's sort of a shoebox style box here really nicely done i mean everything was packaged nicely can't imagine you guys receiving your 
sets or figures damaged because he really took precautions with packaging it nicely. You can see sort of a glossy uh, Spawn logo there over the matte box. So you pull that open and you get a certificate of authenticity. Again, if you want to pause the video to read that carefully, you can do that. There is also what appears to be a uh, checklist. Again, pause the video anytime to read any of this a little bit more carefully. But I'll just try to give you guys some decent shots of everything. So, ooh, there we go. This is the original spawn. You can see some of the weapons there. The necroplasm, extra head sculpt. Uh, the autographed nameplate, which is really cool. An actual autograph from the man himself, Todd McFarlane. And the original figure there. So let's move on to the others. Wondering if they all have certificates. So let's see how they did the rest of these. You can see it's quite similar. You get a green pull tab there as opposed to the red on the previous one. Oops, what is this? Okay, yeah, looks like they all come with that same checklist and certificate. And no other numbering or anything like that. Nothing on the back. And again, nothing on the back of the certificate. So here is the modern spawn, I guess is what they're calling it. He comes with different weapons there, as well as different necroplasm effects. And you can see the Al Simmons head sculpt there with green eyes. And the hamburger head spawn. Or modern spawn, I guess, is what they are choosing to call this. So I'll try to get everything out for clearer shots, but just to give you guys an overall view of how they come packaged. And last but not least, let's look at the Artist Proof version here. And again, the pull tab, similar style box, gray as opposed to the green and red. You get that same certificate. And inside we have the Artist Proof accessories. We have that same, that same screaming head, this time unpainted. We do get the uh, Necroplasm Blade, the uh, sword, which I don't think came with any of the other sets, but we do get the same sort of funky, what is this? I don't know, this mallet type thing with a hook and, and uh, nails or something going through it. But yeah, I don't see the sword in the other ones. I wonder if... It was included here somehow? Nope. Well, we'll see. Again, we'll take a better look at that later. Because this one came with a machine gun. And again, an unpainted version of the classic spawn there. And he looks like he also has some different effects going on inside with a the necroplasm there. So yeah, let me get everything out to get a clear shot of all three figures and what they all come with for you guys. And here we have all three of the figures out of their respective uh, boxes there. So again with the original Spawn, if you got the three pack you would get the autograph from Todd McFarlane. You can see it there and these are the accessories. There was a sword actually. It was underneath the uh, signed uh, plaque there so make sure you check in the box for that. You get this weird weapon again here with the hook and nails, the uh, necroplasm energy effects, the necroplasm knife, and the extra head sculpt here, the unmasked spawn. Hopefully that's coming into focus okay, but you can see that there. And once again, the figure inside, you can see what he comes with. The extra hands there and the machine gun. Of course the comic book there. And we have another version of the comic with green foil 
uh, logo, hamburger headed spawn, and hopefully you can make out his accessories. He comes with that weird weapon with a hook, some extra hands there, and instead of the machine gun inside, it's kind of swapped. So you get the machine gun, again you get the Al Simmons head, the dagger once again, and uh, another version of that Necroplasm Energy. So again, I don't know how your figure would come if you ordered individually or maybe two of the figures or something like that. But this again was for the three pack set. So he did include bonuses once, once it reached a certain tier. Uh, this is the artist proof version. The comic book there has more of a black and white motif going along with how the painted unpainted figure looks here and you can see he has some different necroplasm energy accessories inside I'll go ahead and show you a closer look at those in a little bit and again the unpainted accessories so again it looks like a test shot or a prototype thing an artist proof more or less and again you get that sword unpainted so some cool extras there quick look once more of everything you get so let's move on to actually getting everything out of their packages we'll start off with spawn and from what I understand these are collector friendly clamshell cases nothing on the back so you should be able to just pop them open like so And let's look at that backer card with the comic. And it is open at the top, so you should be able to easily slide that out. So even with my one hand, I'm able to do that. So really nice that they did that. And to give you guys a quick preview, I believe this is just issue one. Some info there. Just pause the video once again to read all of this as I will move on. It's a black and white reprint, it appears, of the original Spawn Director's Cut Edition. So I guess there's some notes as to how he went about doing the comic. gonna flip through it real quick and we'll look at the other ones I'm wondering if the other comics are the same just with different covers or if they will be slightly different somehow but uh, that's the comic more or less real quick and the back showing the original toys from the 90s pretty cool so that is that let me get everything out and we'll move this along a little bit quicker and here is everything out of their clam shells you can see the pile of stuff is just stacking up just a lot of stuff with this Kickstarter so I can understand why it took a while and uh, you know patience does pay off uh, before we move on to the figures, the comics, again, they pretty much just have different covers, as you can see here. The uh, regular Spawn versus the modern Spawn. It's mainly the covers, the contents are going to be the same. You can see there we get the same sort of uh, director's cut version of the original Spawn comic. So again, it's pretty much the same as what we went through already. And if you don't believe me, here is the uh, artist proof version as well all the same contents inside if you guys were wondering and uh, I don't know for you comic collectors out there if you can get all of these CGC uh, graded and everything these probably could be worth a lot because there's only like uh, you know a couple thousand of each in print I would imagine and uh, yeah very low numbers of this version of spawn number one so 
I really wonder how that will uh, pay off in the end as far as comic book collecting. Now, before I get everything really out of their packages, I wanted to show how they come uh, housed within the blister. You can see they are secure there with some little uh, plastic, uh, not wires, but you know what I mean, these little securing uh, strings or whatever. Again, you can see the accessories, extra hands, the machine gun. So that is the regular spawn with modern spawn here. It comes with that weapon. Different hands there. They're black with the uh, red knuckles as opposed to just the red hands there with the knuckles. And last but not least, the artist proof. All unpainted. Comes with this different necroplasm effect there. So that's all of his stuff. This is all of the modern spawn stuff. And all of the stuff you get with the original spawn. And of course the nameplate if you get the three pack. So last thing we'll do is let me get everything out and we'll take a closer look at each of the figures and here is everything once again another rundown just to keep things straight these are all of the accessories that come with the three pack regular spawn there and with the modern spawn all of his accessories and the figure and finally the artist proof version and you can see the artist proof is basically an unpainted version of the regular spawn as you can see there and the differences with the regular spawn <clears throat> and the uh, modern spawn you can see there uh, difference differences in the paint job if you just look you know it's missing the reds the boot has a different sculpt uh, he has the crazy gauntlet thing there uh, what else is different? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Trying to see what else might be different. So I think that's mainly it. Mainly the the paint job, the sculpting on the boots, and that extra accessory there on the arm. Of course, the heads are different. Everything else appears to be the same. A view of all three. And the differences with the accessories, there are quite a bit. Again, we went over the hands. Uh, they're black over here. The machine gun, they're the same sculpt, I believe. Oh no, they're actually quite different. So if you look at the two guns, the uh, original spawn there is a totally different gun. Not just in sculpt, but paint. It's more black and silver as opposed to... This one has sort of a goldish tint to it. And they are different uh, guns, as you can see there. All right. So this one, the gold one, comes with the modern spawn. Um, this accessory, though, this weird club-type weapon, these appear to be about the same. I don't see any differences with these two. Would have been cool if one kind of came with some blood splatter, just to differentiate it from the other, maybe. But they appear to be identical between the uh, regular spawn, once again, and the modern and of course you know the uh artist proof is just unpainted uh what else can we discuss let's look at the sculpting you can see there the nice work on the spawn mask you get real metallic chains it has sort of a goldish tint to the chains there on the original spawn and it looks to be about the same with the modern spawn there metal chains look at that crazy head sculpt the details on that is quite amazing with the paint and the washes there my only gripe is that it's not really articulated i mean i guess you can kind of rotate it but you, you can see how the sculpt doesn't really match up it would have been cool if they did a separate joint to the head and neck. Much more like what they did here with the Al Simmons head sculpt. 
you can see that it is a separate uh, sculpt from the neck so you can rotate the head on the Al Simmons if you were to pop that on but with the hamburger head yeah it's basically just kind of fixed in this one position if you wanted to keep it a little bit more aesthetic looking on the shelf because again that would look kind of weird if you had that cut there showing so that's a bit unfortunate but still overall it's a great sculpt uh, with the regular spawn yeah it looks like they did do a separate joint on the head from the neck so you can rotate that head around and swap it out with the screaming head here unmasked head but this head again like the hamburger head does not come with a separate joint for the uh, head and neck so again it's going to be a little bit more of a fixed pose if you want it to look a certain way on the shelf and while I'm talking just giving you guys a decent look at this head sculpt as well and last but not least just a quick look at the unpainted spawn here just to appreciate the sculpting without any of the fancy paintwork bells and whistles kind of a nice piece I like these artist proofs again just you know something like test shots or prototypes if you are into collecting that sort of thing so again just something cool and overall just a great addition to the set if you were to just display these or if you were just a super fan of spawn and the spawn series again the plaque here you can only get with the three pack and this is also nicely detailed you can see there the back of the plaque hollow underneath and you get that gold signature by the man himself pretty awesome and uh I don't think I'll go over the articulation too much. There's a ton of videos on that. Don't want this video to run too long, but you can kind of see the points there of articulation on the feet. There's even some on the toes there. The hands quite articulated otherwise. The cape also does close to a certain degree, sort of like that. And it's not a fragile plastic. It's a uh, you know has some give to it so you don't have to worry about breaking any uh, breaking anything on the uh, cape there back of the figure real quick there are some peg holes underneath because he does also come with a display stand they all do actually so there is that display stand and looks like they're all identical from what I can tell except for the paint job on this one again the uh, artist proof would be black and white so again nice that they differentiated that from everything else and uh, yeah man even has sort of a nice range of motion on the arms again don't want to bore you guys with too much stuff with the articulation uh, there's probably other videos on that or I might make a separate video but wanted to give you guys an overall look at what you get in the three pack Hopefully this video hasn't run too long, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe as always. Take care, stay safe, keep on collecting, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.